have our family today because of people like the mayor and Keith Regan and our fire department and our police. And it's for us at this point, we have, we lost everything. We lost everything we've owned, all these, all the riches and all the fancy things you ever want in your life. But what this has taught me is the most valuable thing I had was sitting right in front of me and it never cost a penny. And I think in this way, we're lucky because we got clarity in life and not a lot of people see that, you know? So we're lucky, we're lucky. We still have everything. And I think that right now for my kids, they feel, they don't feel secure, they don't feel safe, you know? And I just ask that, you know, we have, how can we be more prepared? Are we prepared for this? You know, we need more safety. We need, our kids need to be safe. They need to feel safe. They're afraid to go home. I think it, how do you feel? I feel a little relief or a lot of relief knowing that we're all working together now and something's gonna get done. And you know, for a safer place, not just for myself and my fellow neighbors, but all of Maui, everyone who lives on the on the stream. So it's it's a relief, and I know it's a work in progress, but you know, at least we're getting somewhere. I was taking him to judo, and that's probably only like a 15, 20 minutes, you know, to drop him off. And meanwhile, I get a phone call from her, and she's telling me, Mom, you know, the the water is rising, it's all the way up to the stairs, and I was like, Wow. I was like, yeah, okay, and I thought she was, we have a pool, so I thought it was a pool. But actually, it wasn't the pool. It was the river coming through. So she calls me back like a few minutes later, and she's screaming frantically, mommy, mommy, help me, help me. She's like, the river, the river, it's coming, the water's in the house, the water's rising, you gotta come home fast, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh, and right then, I pull up onto our street, and I see the water coming off the road. And when I'm driving on the road, it starts, the water is rising and rising. I come to the gate, I open the gate, and all the water comes out, and my lights go out. And I'm thinking, oh, my lights went, what's going on? But actually, my car was underwater. Right then, I thought I was gonna get, I thought I was gonna die, I thought I was gonna get swept away. And I was on the phone driving, I was trying to talk to him, I mean call him, and I couldn't get in touch with him. So I texted him, Stefan, call 911, because I thought I was gonna die. And at least if he got the message, my kids would be saved. So I got to reverse to get out of the, out of the, um, the raging water, and then she's, She's calling me still, mommy, mommy, help me, help me. And I, all I could do was I was helpless because you can't, there's no way you can't, you can't get, I couldn't get to them. And she's screaming and they're screaming for help. And I was there and I was like, Chanel, you, get to the roof, get to the roof. That's the only thing you can do. You got to get to the roof, get, get your brother, get your popo, get to the roof, you know? And, um, you can hear all the commotion. She has like a watch phone. Yeah. So, you know, I can hear all the commotion, but she's not talking and I can hear him screaming and I'm just, I'm outside and I'm, I'm helpless. There's nothing I could do. We, we, were, we were lucky though. Um, the fire department, uh, they was there. They reacted. Unbelievable. Um, as, as I was driving up, my phone was just blowing up from ha half the fire department as well. Just calling me and letting me know that not to panic. The kids are on the roof, but they're safe at least. Um, I couldn't get through the, the stream. It was way too deep. Um, it, it, at that time, Chief Murray was right behind me with, with Robert, with Deputy Chief Robert Shimada. And they, when they heard about what was going on, I mean, they got out of their house to just see what they could do. And as soon as the river went down just a little bit, that was the chance they had. And, they went in with Captain Lee Terrells as well, and Battalion Chief uh, Alan Duart, and they basically just plowed through and, and grabbed my family. And so to me, I mean, we blessed, we've been blessed because of that. You know, 
all the fire department and police was standing right there ready to go. So, you know, we, we lost material things, but I mean, you can get back material things. You, know, you cannot get back your family. So I am happy. The mayor's office was there that night. That night, midnight. Uh, mayor Alan Arakawa, Keith Regan has been there every day Above and beyond. to just make sure the community up there is safe. And personally, I mean, driving up there with his own pickup truck and his own <laughs> whatever, you know, just to try help and see what he can do. And to me, that's awesome. Jacques has been up there Jacques. to check. Jack came and shoveled mud. <laughs> yeah, literally shoveled literally, mud. You know, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just we've been blessed. You know, we don't want nothing to grumble about. You know, we've been blessed. Yeah. And we still get our family. You know, everybody's trying to say, can you compare this to this? Can you compare? I mean, for me, all I can say is I have saw that river pound a lot of times. You know, kind of always right down below us. He saw the river pound probably even more than we, we do because he's below us. But we had no idea that this river was going to open out and, and go the route that it took, you know. So, you know, my concern is just hopefully we can try to correct it as best as possible, um, you know, so it won't happen again. Maybe next time lives might get lost. We don't know. If, if, this, were, if this happened when kids were sleeping in bed and people are sleeping, uh, who knows what would happen, you know. Um, I know, fun fact, our neighbor, Farah Wong, who lives right above us, she had to hold her breath and swim under furniture to get to her 94-year-old dad, yeah? Right. And it's a 94-year-old man, you know, with, with furniture floating and, and coming through their house. So, you know. How are the kids holding? <laughs> we are very fortunate to have yeah. good friends. Good friends, yeah. Good friends that are taking care of them because we're busy at home, you know, doing our thing. And we still have to, we still have to work because, you know, we have to pay for all of this. And we had just renovated our house, so we built this dream house. We put our whole life savings into our house and. It just got, everything got taken away in like 10 yeah. minutes. You know? We'll get them back. It's okay. We'll get them back. You know, I'm not worried about that. Like I said, that's, that's money. You can always make money. Yeah, you know, to me, I get my kids there. You know. But you know what? <laughs> yeah. So this is my family, Andrew, Herbert, and Chanel. Um, that actually, my uh, two, as well as my uh, mother-in-law, was rescued um, by the fire department the night of that storm off the roof. And I just like to say that the mayor's office uh, went above and beyond. Uh, the mayor, Keith Regan, showed up the night of and every day since to today, making sure that uh, everybody is safe, you know. And I just ask that if everybody can really work hard and try to keep not just us, but the people down the river, that's who we worry about. Because our our time our we lost everything already. It's everybody else down the stream. That's who we're worried about. Because if we don't act now, Yale Parkside, all those guys, all the way down the stream, down Eha Street, they're gone. And I don't. I think that's what the urgency about is about. And I don't think people realize how how important that is.